Here's a great pasta recipe using veggeroni. These gorgeous little spirals are a combination of spinach, beetroot and tomato. And I'm going to serve it with a bacon and tomato sauce. So yummy. So I've just been preheating a large pan. Into this I'll add a good glug of extra virgin olive oil. I'll also add some onions. I've just finely chopped one onion and we'll get that frying. And I like to add my bacon at this stage because I want some of that fat to render away to flavour the sauce. I've just finely chopped some bacon rashers. I'm using streaky bacon for this. We can now add the garlic and I always leave the garlic to the last minute because I don't want it to burn. So it can go in and we'll let everything mingle and cook away. While that's happening, we can chop up our eggplant. Now I'm just using one nice medium sized eggplant for this recipe. Here's a little tip with your eggplant. See how it rolls around? I like to just nip off one of the sides, turn it around and you'll see by doing that you've got control of the eggplant as you slice it. It's just much safer to do. So we're going to cut them into slices. We want them to be about one to two centimetres thick and then we'll cut them into small cubes because I want them to cook quite fast in our delicious bacon and onion mixture. So turn that around and then cut them. Some recipes call for salting eggplant, but personally, when they're so young like this, they don't need to be salted because they're not bitter anymore. All done now, and you can see how much fat has rendered out of the bacon. That is going to help cook and make our eggplant really golden. So in with our little pieces of eggplant. At this stage, you can also add a small pinch of salt, but just a small pinch because the bacon has some salt in it too. Right, I am happy with the way this is looking. A few more ingredients for the sauce. So some pine nuts and a generous amount of pine nuts. You don't need to toast them at all because they're going to cook in this pan. We'll just coat them in the oil. And now some passata, some tomato puree. We'll pour that in. And this won't take long at all to cook now. We just want that to become thick and rich. In the meantime, we can cook our veggeroni spirals. They're so small, so they won't take long at all. Remember, we want them to be al dente. So some rapidly boiling water, a good pinch of salt, and then in they go. Pasta is ready, so into the pan it goes and allow some of that starchy cooking water to go into. This is going to help everything bind together. My mate Adam Swanson says it is crucial to making the best style pasta. Also, we're going to just tear in some beautiful fresh basil leaves. You don't even need to tear them up. The big ones you can, just like so. And a small sprinkling of parmesan. And just on this low heat, just going to give everything a jiggle and a toss and just let everything coat those gorgeous veggeronis. Fantastic. OK, let's plate this up. Love these colours. Nice, generous mound of this pasta in the middle. I love how the basil leaves are still vibrant green, so they've just wilted ever so gently. I can smell that bacon. So good. And why not? Another little sprinkle of parmesan over the top. And there you go, a gorgeous, colourful pasta done in minutes.